color is knitted. I have used ribbon yarn. There's a bit of gold, uh, glitter, gold in it. And it's very, very decorative uh, finish item. I have used knitting uh, needles number 8 and number 20. And in this video, I will show you how to do this color. This is how it looks at the back. I have used a, a one centimeter wide ribbon yarn. A, a variegated, uh, it goes from pink to beige in color right, with, with gold in it. And go, the gold makes uh, the finished object look very, very nice. Um, it looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, this yarn is called the Bali Ribbon. I start using needles number 8, 8 millimeters. You start by casting on 38 stitches and the casting on you do on two knitting needles because that makes the first round far more easy to knit. Then you have casted on 38 stitches, you start by doing knit stitches. You do six rounds each way. One, one, two, two, and so forth. So you have six rows each side. You use knit stitches only. Then you have done six rounds each way. One, two, three, four, five, six. You change to needles number 20. And it's a very big difference between number 8 and number 20. This color will cover your shoulders. And to get the right shape of it, you have to increase the number of stitches on the next round. In fact, we double the number of, number of stitches. So, we start knitting with needles number 20. We do, still we do knit stitches only, but we increase the number of stitches by wrapping the yarn around the needle. With one, you wrap it once between the stitches. Wrap, knit, wrap, knit. It is a very big difference between the tip of the knee, uh, this uh, needle and the rest. And to be sure you don't get trouble uh, on the next round. If you stop, this, if you do like this, you knit and let it stay there at the thinner part. It will be very difficult to knit these stitches on the next round. So what you do when you have knitted you place it on the thick part like this. It's very easy done. Don't forget to wrap the thread to increase the number of stitches. The next round you do ordinary knit stitches. But the thread, the, the new stitch, thread will wrap around the needle. We don't knit from the front because then you will get a hole in the pattern. You, you, you take the thread from the back and knit it. And it looks like an ordinary stitch. We go on knitting in the same way the whole round. I have knitted the whole round and the number of stitches 
is doubled. So now we just turn around and do knit stitches the next round too. When these two rounds are done, we want to do, I want to do this long decorative stitches that makes it look like, like fringes almost when it is uh, finished. To create those stitches, that is very easy done too, because you start by doing the ordinary knit stitch. And then you wrap the yarn twice around the needle. Between every knit stitch you wrap the yarn twice. We are now at the last round. And we have to bind off in this round. So I do the first knit stitch. Then the two wraps, the thread we wrapped twice around the needle, we just drop it. Both those wrapped stitches we drop, so we have a long thread. And then we can pull the first stitch then we do the next knit stitch and then we bind off by pulling the first stitch over the second one. We do the same the whole round. Drop the two threads wrapped around the needle. Do the knit stitch. Fetch the stitch and pull the last one through. Then we are binding off at the same time. And you can see that because we drop those two wraps, we get long fringe like threads. So we go on the whole round. Then you have only one stitch left, you do as you always do, you cut the thread and pull it through. And then you fasten it using a needle, but in addition I, I use ordinary needle and thread to do a few stitches uh, to be sure it is fastened. You may think it, it uh, looks crinkly or it doesn't have the right uh, fringy look. What do you do to get it right? You do all the way around at the bottom edge. You pull your fingers through the stitches and then you pull hard. Like this. That straightens the long stitches at the end. There. Then you do a few chain stitches using a crochet needle to do a buttonhole at the end. Fasten a button using ordinary needle and thread. And there, the color is finished.